Welcome to bonus stage. Yeah, I don't know. It's, uh... <laughs> I, I should have, uh, followed up the last video more recently than, uh, you know, three weeks later. But I didn't, so here we are. Better late than never, I guess. As with the last one, I don't really have that much of a plan here. I'm just going to check out some areas that are either brand new or have been changed since last time, or I just have something to talk about. This one has new music. Um, that's not why we're here, though. So, last time I got uh, Metal Cap and Vanish Cap, I wanted to grab Wing Cap. I could uh, go to a different place for it, but I figured I'd get it here, because why not? And there's a couple new areas up here, but uh, I guess a couple quick things since last time. Um, I still don't know the exact status on a potential new hotfix for the game. Um, I was sent one a few days ago, and I tested a couple of the usual problem areas, and it seemed to work fine, but I didn't really do anything extensive with it. I only really checked a couple places. Um, if that gets released, you know, I'll definitely mention it and link it and stuff, but so far, it has not been. And I believe it is going to be just fixing crashes and that kind of thing, not actually adding new content. Aside from that, there was also a, uh, proper, like, Star Tracker thing for Parallel Launcher made. I don't use Parallel Launcher, so I can't really speak for it much, but it exists and should probably be good for people who like that sort of thing. Um, there was also an attempt at making a, uh, a variant of the one that I have open on the side here that uh, separates stars by level. And let me actually show that off. Okay, after I, you know, fall and fucking die. But, uh... It comes with a, uh, it comes with a downside. Because, you know, the one that I have open to the side, even if, uh, sorting by, like, internal course ID doesn't really mean much to the normal person, it at least kind of condenses everything. You can see where I'm going with this. So, let me load in the other one. So, if you want to find a level in this, um... Gonna take a while. Limitless. Okay, it claims I'm in limit. I guess maybe that's the same course I do. Let me see if any other ones have this. Yeah. Okay. So let's go all the way down. Should be. Yeah, wind cap by the Rainbow Highway. So I mean, it works. Yeah, mouse. It works, but at what cost? Um. I'll link this one for anybody who does care about it, um, in case you're weird like me and don't want to use Parallel Launcher, even though it's probably the superior option. Um, it'll at least help you figure out... Oh. Oh. It, it, it done got scrunched. Okay, let me pause and fix that. Okay, so what I was saying is, um, you know, it does at least do the job of if you're just trying to figure out what stars you're missing, it kind of shows where they're located, so it's useful for that reason. But it's a little cumbersome to actually scroll through and use actively while you're playing if you're kind of in a rush like I am, so. We've got wing cap, let's uh, head into fourth floor beta, I think it's called. Now, I don't know which pipes here are the ones we want. I'm reasonably sure it's not this first one. Nope, this is surface test, or whatever that one's called. There's this one. This is... I... Collision test? I, I don't remember. Or let's just pop out of this one-way wall like it ain't no thing. What's the one down here? I think this is... Particle test? No, this is... One of the athletic variants. So... I have a really hard time remembering the names of a lot of these test levels. This one, I think, has been redesigned a fair bit. Not enough to where I care to really show it off in detail, but, uh... In 1.9... or in 0.9, there was, like, 
Big Blocky Bonanza, Athletic Fortress. I don't remember the names of all of them. A lot of them got renamed to stuff like Castle 1, Athletic 2, with that type of thing. It's kind of hard to keep track of them all. Here's uh, Particle Test, which is also linked in a few other places. I know you can get there randomly by going in the uh, Frosty Highlands painting in floor, or in Lobby B. This one is like... I don't remember what it's called. <laughs> I'm sorry. Pretty sure this one has not changed. And, well, actually, what is this one? Because this one used to be bob -um Test Field. It, field. it did get changed, right? Ah, this is a new one. Okay. So, this level was, um... I don't know what to say about this one, really. It's because, you, know, you know, I didn't make it or anything. Obviously, I didn't make any levels. But um, this one was sent to me relatively early on when I was doing the Star IDs. Um, I think Test Field or... Test Field might maybe got moved. I don't remember. Let me actually look. Did it get moved or did it get taken out? Um, nope, it's still there somewhere. I think it might have been moved to Plexel Lobby, maybe. I don't know. But, um... There was another one that was called, like, Dream Something. Uh, let me look it up. I, uh, it wasn't Dream Tower. Okay, now I'm going to actually try to find out what it was. All right. Sorry about the uh, extremely, you know, Mickey Mouse production here, where I'm just kind of checking facts and shit as I'm playing the game. I know it's kind of haphazard. Um... Dreamy Heights and Wallman Citadel were apparently, uh, they, they were both deleted and apparently Chris thought they were the same level or something. I, I love this, by the way. <laughs> um, it looks correct from some camera angles. But yeah, so those were removed. This one was kind of put in the place of one of those, I think. Um... Originally, I thought that this level was too complex to be on this floor, since everything on this floor is supposed to be, like, a weird test level. This one is pretty barren and relatively simplistic, though. These, uh, you know, cookie-cutter shape holes in the ground are definitely unusual, though. Um, is this... Can I even get up here? I, I, For the record, I don't even feel like I tried to jump there. The game just kind of did it for me, and it happened to work out. I have no explanation for that. Um, but yeah, when I first played this level, there were originally uh, two stars in this one. There was one not up on top of this thing. I'm trying to get to the top of it, but I'm not convinced, if I, I'm not convinced I can do it. There used to be a star just kind of in that... Like, on that platform there, it was like, you know, as soon as you come in, you could basically just hold forward and get it. Uh, that was one of the last stars to be removed when we were filling in the 13 greens. We kind of had to pick a few to, uh, you know, be on the chopping block, and I suggested that one because it was kind of pointless. Um, there's another star back here. And this one's also weird because... Well, we'll see in a second. So, it's hanging out up there, and the way that uh, it looks like you're supposed to get it is to use this cannon, and, you know, lo and behold, that's exactly what I'm going to do to get it. Also, as soon as I get the star, it's going to boot me back, and I'm going to have to get back up to that top floor. Or, nope, this is a painting. Never mind. Glad I did this one first. Um... There's another weird aspect to this level. Also, I love how it's in, like, a grassy painting. The painting isn't even appropriate for it. It's good shit. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to show this one in the uh, editor, so bear with me for a second. Alright, here it is in the editor. Uh, this is where the star is. This yellow box. Uh, I don't remember seeing these crates in the level. And that's because these are set as a breakable box hidden which is the type of thing that appears when you hit a purple switch. Uh, as near as I can tell, there is no purple switch anywhere in the level. So these are just kind of here, but inaccessible. Um, 
Obviously, like I said, I didn't design the level, so my only guess here is that originally he was going to have a switch somewhere, and then he had to kind of like race to it before they disappeared to reach it, and then just kind of decided against it and put in the cannon. I don't know, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Also, this level uh, never got like an official name. Uh, when it was put into the game, the like field where the level name should be it was just kind of empty so i just called it firefield um that's the name i used to use for the level that is actually called curly's fire bubble um but it works here so yeah all righty uh moving on to other levels then so there is another new one up here let's see if i can remember which one it is i think it's the one all the way back here Uh, it was not. This is the same athletic level as before. Because for some reason we need two pipes leading to that one. I think I even pointed that one out and was like, should we link to a new level with this? And he's like, nah. This uh, place is slightly changed. <laughs> so this is Sombrero Land. Um, I've explained this one before, but basically uh, there was an old like, promotional image by SGI, like, the graphics company that the N64 worked with, I guess, that had this weird little sombrero farmer dude and a bunch of bob bombs, and so it just, you know, it got referenced in this level. The behavior there is just different from before. He didn't used to talk to you. The star was just in a crate, but yeah. Not much else to say about that one. Still looking for the new, like, the other new level. I, did I already check this one? This place is confusing, it's hard to tell. Ah, no, here we go. So, this is the closest to a level that I had, like, b b like, there's still no level that I actually made, but if there was one, this would be it. Um, because I had the highest level in of involvement with this one. Um, yeah. Um, basically, I was given this one as, like, a blank slate. Chris just kind of whipped this thing up and was like, I'm gonna put this in the test floor. I don't know what to do with that. I'm out of ideas. If you want to make a puzzle, like, go ahead. And I'm like, uh, alright, sure, let me try. So I look at this place. Alright, I forgot you don't kill those, but just throw them. Um, is this thing gonna immediately snatch me out of the air? No. Okay, so instead of me actually flying everywhere with a with the cannon, let me take a second and stop. But yeah, so I had no control over the actual geometry of the level, and this place is freaking weird. It's got a bunch of haphazard platforms just scattered about. Some of them are very weirdly shaped. Um, obviously we've got the volcano in the middle, and. Uh, you know, there's a few other just points of interest, such as, here's a big arrow thing. Here's a thing with some, like, targets on it. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this level? <laughs> uh, it, it feels like AI-generated, almost. Um, and so, the original puzzle, if you can even call it a puzzle, because I think it was, you know, it was, it was, it was half-baked. That's why he gave it to me and was like, fuck this, make something better. Um was there was a purple switch right here, and it made, like, a bridge of boxes that led across to there, and there was just a star hanging out. Or more... No, actually, I think there was, like... There was just a clump of five secrets that you just touched all five of them, and you just got the star. And so I'm like, okay, well, I'll keep the secrets. I'll spread them out a bit. We'll do something with this. Gotta make use of the terrain somehow. Um, so I put that one at the beginning. I put one here. I love how that jump worked. It's good shit. Um, I could have also marked these with, like, silver stars or something, but I didn't. <laughs> because this was supposed to be a test level, I'm like, you know, it actually kind of makes sense that it's a little janky, so... I just kind of left it as that little sparkle. Um, I had also just recently learned how to do warps. Um, warps are, like... 
They shouldn't be complicated, but for some reason I always had a hard time with them for the few times that I actually did use them. You essentially just set a warp ID, like, you just put in a value and it's like, you know, this is warp ID 6, and then there's a list where it's like, here's number 6, and it points to this map and this, like, other warp ID, so that it kind of, like, puts you at the place that that's assigned to. But it's a... Like, I always find it a little hard to work with for some reason. Maybe I just misunderstood a core component of it, but, uh... Essentially, I had done a warp somewhere else. It was fresh on the mind, and I'm like, let me do something with this. There's this weird little red tile here. So let me put a warp here, because the player might think that it's suspicious and want to check it out. Um, you can get a wing cap. Um, fly around a bit, just, you know, better control than if you use the cannon. There's a, uh, should be a high platform with a secret here. Yeah, right. Uh, Trying to fly while controlling the camera doesn't always work out so well. And then, of course, we've got a secret over here. I moved the purple switch on this side so that if you uh, land here and the wing cap runs out, you can get back. I guess you could also just do the, like, triple jump twirl, but couldn't hurt. And so the last secret is the uh, most devious. Um, because, you know, like I said, I basically just had this random geometry to work with, and I wasn't sure what to do with it. This platform up here, really, really, we're going to somehow perfectly fucking land in that hole. That's incredible. Awesome. Okay, let me, uh, let me get back there. Okay, let's pretend that didn't happen. Um, so yeah, as you saw, I somehow managed to ground pound perfectly through this circular hole. Um, that isn't what we need to do. And this, uh, hexagon one doesn't help us either, but the square one, you know, the plumber goes in the square hole. I, I stole that joke from someone on the server. But yep, last secret's just in here. That was basically it. I'm not, uh, exactly proud of this puzzle that I created, if you can even call it a puzzle. It's more just, you know, go around and poke some stuff. But it is something that I had involvement with, so... Yeah. It's got good points for that, I guess. So, now that I've got the wing cap, um... I could basically just kind of go wherever, like any level that has these requirements, I could just check in any order. But I have an area that I want to go to in particular. Surprisingly, it does not involve the wing cat back here, um, though I do have access to that now. Nope, let's go into Toad's Lobby or whatever this place is called. I'm used to calling it Hall of Divine Transportation, but that's not its real name. I find it interesting that this place did get a minor change, because originally these two pipes, you had to, like, go to the side, and then it would, like, kind of continue in that direction, and it just kind of got redesigned a little bit at one point. I don't know why I even took the effort to point that out. But anyway, here's Stellar Tower. There's a few level entrances here. Um, I believe originally this place was the home of Zany Forest and Zany Castle, uh, which have both been removed, and so we've got a couple new levels to replace them. In case, uh, in case we didn't have enough Bob on Battlefield variants, here's another one, but this one's kind of cool. What does this guy say? Oh, nothing. He explodes. Excellent. Okay. Thought that was an NPC. So, this level has four stars in it. Um, there's one of them behind the Chain Chomp Gate, and uh, befuddlingly enough, there is no pole to free the Chain Chomp. More on that later. There should be one on top of this tree. Which, uh, obviously you can just fly to, or I think there's a cannon. Actually, yeah, there's definitely a cannon somewhere. I'm just now noticing the wet dry world background. <laughs> so there's that one there, there's that one on top of the mountain. Um, oh, what the hell was that invisible wall? Curious what that was aligned with, but whatever. I want to climb this to test something, because uh, 
there was a uh, unfortunate thing that happened here at one point. Okay. Does it go both ways? Alright, good to know. Also, notice that the wing cap disappeared, but it's still playing the music. Uh, one of those warps actually crashed when uh, Simple Flips played this level on his original stream with us. So, y you better believe that when that stream was happening, I was like frantically taking notes anytime something happened that wasn't supposed to, and that was uh, the biggest one. For some reason, dying in... Um, Tiny Huge Island also seemed to take you back to uh, Plexal Lobby instead of taking you back out of the painting. I don't know if that ever actually got fixed. Anyway, there's those two stars. Um, let us hop down over here. Or, you know, die. I was gonna do a belly flop, but nah. So, vanish cap up here. Um, this is how you get behind the Shanchomp gate. This one uh, genuinely confused me when I was uh, testing for star IDs, because at one point there was actually a post that you could pound in for the Chainchomp, uh, but when I did it in testing, the Chainchomp just kind of, you know, bounced around, flew off into the distance, and then the game softlocked, which it always just kind of has a chance of doing. I think in any level that it shows up in, it just always has a minor chance of that occurring, which sucks. So it was removed from a few of them, at least. Um, and so I figured that the star behind the gate would also get removed, but it was kept and the vanish cap was put on. Uh, the other star in here is uh, a little obtuse, if I'm being honest. Um, so, you know, it's just, you just you touch the tops of the trees, right? Touch the top of the trees, right? Nah. No, you touch the you, you touch the tops of the deciduous trees specifically, or as they're referred to in the editor, the bubbly trees. There's exactly five of them. If you touch all five of them, then you get the star. Um, it's a little weird. I kind of like it. There's like nothing in the level that hints towards it, but you know, if you're exploring and touching trees and stuff, like you'll find a secret eventually and kind of put it together. I think. I don't think it's that bad. It's it's the type of thing that I wouldn't expect to see in, like, you know, a polished, like, actual Nintendo release, probably. I don't know. Mario Sunshine has some pretty freaking bad blue coin locations, but, uh... You know, it's supposed to be a weird beta. Like, it makes sense to have weird crap like that. I kind of like it. Um, I think the last tree is... Up at the top here, I'm gonna see if I can get it. Do I have to frame walk this? Uh, maybe not even that'll do it. Can I grasshopper up there? Uh, well, not if I face the wrong way. Yeah, the last tree is up there. Come on. Let's do it. No game. Apparently, uh, pushing the wrong direction after grabbing the grasshopper is... Yeah, okay, it doesn't start hopping until you push your direction. There we go. Uh, okay, I'm like, I don't think I touched that one. But yeah, overall, I like this level. Um, the ones that got replaced, Zany Forest just kind of had, like, really weird geometry to it. There was a lot of slopes that didn't really make sense. I don't really know how you would describe that level. Um, Zany Castle was one that I spent a strange amount of time in in the last version just because it had like some bizarre qualities to it. There was uh, vanish cap gates that were kind of awkward to reach and there was one point where there was a star like way down at the death barrier that got fixed while I was beta testing that game. It was I don't know, that level was kind of a mess. I liked it a little bit. I'm not terribly sad to see it go, though. Um, there should be one other new level in this place, and uh, it's also pretty good. I don't remember 
which floor it's on. It might be all the way at the top. Maybe one floor down from that, we'll see. I'm also now realizing there was probably a faster way to get here. I could have gone Lobby B to uh, Plexal upstairs to Royal Lobby. Take the pipe there. Also, this platform has uh, issues with level scaling. Sometimes it uh, doesn't come down nearly far enough. Okay, let me see if there's anything on this floor. Yeah, this is just Goomba Village, or whatever it's- I don't think it's called Goomba Village anymore, I got renamed to something, I don't remember what. Um, but no, that's an old level. Up here. That's the Royal Lobby Pipe, I'm pretty sure. Double check. Yeah. There's probably some new stuff here I could look at, but we'll come back to that later. Alright, here we go. So, this is another level that never really got an official name. To my knowledge, it might have gotten one in the last couple weeks, because I've not really been paying attention to the community. Um, I called this one Misty Beach, though looking at the level now, I'm not seeing the mist. I swear there used to be like a fog in this level. I, I don't know where it went. But, uh... This one was just called, like, Beach and Internal Land. It needed a better name than that. Anyway, this is another four-star level. Um, some of them are pretty easy, such as that one, which I didn't actually mean to grab because it takes a while to get back to the level. So we'll pretend I didn't get that. There's one star in particular that I have stuff to say about here. Let me find the other ones first. I actually don't remember where all of them are. Um, a little house, I think, has something. Let me see. Yes, light. This is not the place I'm thinking of, right? No, this is just a collect the caps. Like for Dire Dire Docks, there's just... Star back there, you can either just swim down with Vanish Cap, or you can combine with Metal Cap, either one works. Uh, what else we got in this place? There is one over here, I think? Yeah, in this hole. We're gonna come back to that one, that's the one I have input on. What else is in this stage? there, maybe. I'm surprised how little of this I actually remember, because it had been a few weeks. Uh, tiny hole. For some reason, I wasn't expecting that to be a cannon. It makes sense that it was, but, uh... Oh, there's just one up on the island. Okay. That makes sense. Looks like you don't need wing cap for that. Nope. Okay, let's take a look at this hole. So this was another puzzle that I kind of assisted with. Um, so let me show how it works now, and then I'll explain what I did to this one. Um, because the original one was kind of weird. So, there's a metal cap over here. You don't strictly need this, but I'm gonna grab it anyway. Goomba in the hole, yeah. So if you hit this switch, it makes these crates appear down here. And it's like, okay. You just gotta touch them all and they give you the secrets. The timer doesn't quite last long enough for you to get all of them, but you can at least approximate. And then probably do one more round and get it. So, believe it or not, that was actually kind of my puzzle idea. I say kind of because it wasn't really. It was sort of implemented originally, but it was weird. Um, and I don't know how to explain this because it's, to me, like, the way that this puzzle is set up right now makes a lot of sense. Like, it has a progression to it. Like, 
But the way that this worked originally was it had these five crates. Um, they were not sunken into the ground like this. They were level with the ground, like, you know, the bottom of it touched the ground. Um, and as Metal Mario Underwater, you can't punch or ground pound, so you can't actually break the crates. Um, but they would... There were just five of these in these same locations, and in this one specifically, there was a secret that triggered a star, and that was the only secret in the area. And so I'm like, that's really weird. I don't get why it's like that. They should probably all mark where the secrets are. And so I put, I moved the secret, I, I made five secrets, I put them on top of the boxes, and then I'm like, this is a little clunky having to jump up on top of all these. Let me stick them into the ground so that they're basically just place markers. So you can kind of walk over them. And I felt that that flowed a lot better. So I like that star. I thought it was pretty cool. What else we got? Um, at this point, there's uh, plenty of options, but uh, let me see. I guess let's actually head outside. I could have done this earlier when I pointed out the wing cat, but uh, I didn't because I'm bad. I don't know, for some reason I wanted to prioritize those two. So this wing cap is not 100% uh, required to do this, but it is going to make it a lot easier. Because uh, there's a warp up here now. Yeah, it's, it's seen there, yeah. Come on, game, don't make me into a liar. There should be a warp up here. There we go. This music is not supposed to be playing on this map. I'm pretty sure this place is just supposed to have silence and just, you know, bird ambience and stuff. Uh, this map is just called Waterfall. There's no stars here or anything. It's just kind of a pleasant little area. There's a cabin over there, which if I recall collectly, collectly, uh, doesn't actually do anything. Let me look around and see if there's anything else of note. There's like two major things here, and both of them are uh, warps to other maps. I'm just checking if there's anything else that's actually in this one. Okay, so you can go inside this one. I, again, I'm pretty sure it doesn't actually have anything, though. Nope. This is just a Minecraft house. Okay, so one of the things is behind the waterfall. Let me save state before I do this, because I think this is a one-way warp. I like how the music is still going. Can, can we actually get this music to go away before I do that? Also, this looks perfectly normal. Nothing wrong with what I'm seeing here. going to cut the music. Oh my god, is this music just... Am I, am I just going to live with this forever? I think this place is normally muted, too. Um, is this table still glitchy? Oh god, it is. Yes! <laughs> I think this might be a level scaling thing, because it doesn't always do this. Um, I found this the first time I entered this area, and I fucking loved how jank this table is. Oh, it's so good. I don't even know what the cause of this is. It's something to do with just the fact that the ceiling is so close to Mario's height. Oh, finally the music stopped. Um, this is like some Pedro spot bullshit here. I wonder, actually, can I, like... You don't, you don't normally BLJ in a Pedro spot, though. You do, like, a double jump or something. I don't know. I don't think this is going to do much. 
Anyway, here's a crate. Nothing in it. Behold. What could it mean? First of all, you get out of here. The Aind. Yep, this is just called Bro's House. And, uh, it links up to... Oh. My favorite, Floor 4B. We'll come back here in a minute. This place is, uh, giant and awful. I wasn't even planning on really showing that floor in this video yet, but, uh, we're here, so I might as well at least start. Go back to Waterfall real quick. Now that the perpetual wing cat music has stopped. Yeah, this is uh, not exactly a useful map. It's just, uh. It's here, so I might as well show it. There's a few of those in this game. Um, I think they're just called, like, I think all of them are just called Shame. I don't know if they have any other, like, different names or anything, but. Anyways, let me just, you know, walk through the door as a bomb explodes. Uh, so I don't actually remember how this floor is laid out because it's the size of, like, Kansas. Where's this lead? Is this going to be... Yeah, okay. So there's a few of these pushable bookshelves. This is Elder Koopa's library. Um, in 0 0.9, there was an obscure secret here. You could push this bookshelf and this would lead straight to the uh, unsettling maze with the like fucked up Bowser paintings. Uh, so now it's been repurposed to this. And actually, while I'm thinking about it, let me go back there because there's a thing close by that I can make use of. I think I want to go this way. Might as well grab a star from this toad. You know, if he wants to respond to me. Um, so in this, uh, yeah, in this little area here, this is t Twisted Internal Garden, I think is what it's called. Um, I believe in the day one release of the game, there is no water here. And um, that is because, for some reason in this game, uh, anytime changes were made, there was just always a chance of maps losing water. It was really annoying. Um, like, there were several water levels where it was massively important that the water be there, that it just kind of despawned in, even if the level wasn't really touched. Um, apparently the same thing could happen to the toxic gas, like, that spawns for, like, Hazy Maze Cave and stuff. That just would disappear sometimes. Uh, but my favorite is sometimes water would just appear in places where it wasn't supposed to be. Um, I have a copy of this ROM somewhere where uh, there's just an invisible cube of water in the middle of Moto's factory. It, you can still play the level, but it's very stupid. Um, but now, the reason I came here is uh, because you can go in this window. And let me explain some things about this window. In 0 0.9, this thing would just kill you. Um, it was very anticlimactic, because I found this. I'm like, oh shit, there's a secret hidden here. And it was just nothing. Uh, at one point, I put a green star in here, and then uh, removed it because I found out that the thing had actually been repurposed to something else, because now it's another way to get into floor 4B. There's a few places that connect to this place. Um, so we've seen the one from Bro's house, we've seen that one. Um, there's the one in the library. There's an entrance from... 
parallel lobby. Um, let me think. There's, I think, one in, like, purple upstairs, I want to say. Maybe one of the basement mazes. I really don't remember. Is this... You have no idea how big this map is unless you've run around in it for a while. It, and a lot of it is extremely pointless. It just loops around on itself. Um, and I kind of had to learn how it was laid out a little bit. Is this just a dead end? Nice. Um, I had to learn it at least a little bit because I used it as like background footage for uh, a couple of my announcement videos. But... Uh, it didn't help. I still don't know how half of this place connects. I feel like I've been going in a straight line for an hour and... Oh. Uh, that's right. It also connects to mirrored upstairs. Is anything up here new? Eh, that's definitely not. What's this level? It's just... I forget what this one's called, but it's... Uh, you know what? I'm here. Why not? I'll show this. This is completely uh, not what I intended to be showing off, but it is technically something new. Well... Actually, I wouldn't even go that far. But yeah, this is a Grassy Snowy Summit, I think is what this one's called. Um... There was that, like, question mark thing. Yeah, if you touch these, it warps you to another map, which is very similar, but uh, it is a different map, so it has, like, different objects and stuff placed in it. The reason we're here is because um, there's a star just at the top of the mountain, as you'd probably expect, and there's another star that's hidden. It's one of the more obscure ones, so I'm trying to get to it. Believe it or not, this is the th this is the star, um, because this is an Act One only star, and uh, now I have to backtrack a bit. Oh, not but not by very much, because uh, in point nine. The star was also in this version of the map, because there's this boulder here, but you can just totally go behind it anyway. And the star was kind of, like, clipping out of the back of the boulder. Um, so that one was actually removed for 1.0. Um, I thought about having something else here. The, the idea was brought up. It just ultimately never happened. But that's, uh, that's basically it for this place. Should be able to get back easily enough. Anything else in Mirrored Upstairs that I care about? Something's telling me no. This is... Snowman's Darkness, right? Yeah. Um, I will say that in this level, there's an igloo that has, like, a chill bully. It's supposed to be, like, Chief Chili from uh, 64DS. And uh, that used to be a red star, but we changed it because they're just it was a it was a relatively minor boss and it was decided it wasn't important enough. Anyway, let me go back to 4B. That place is more interesting. Real quick actually, this is just Tiny Huge Island, right? I think this is Middle Island. I don't know, this is actually the other two. Yeah. Okay, does dying here actually work. Yes. Good to know. Um, <laughs> I was at, just wanted to answer that question that was raised earlier in the video. Yeah, let's go back. There should be like four or five new levels connected to 4B. We can take a look at at least a couple of them. We'll definitely have to come back here later. I like that platform up there, by the way completely pointless. I was sent this map originally with no context. Oh, it's not pointless. There's a door here. Um, 
but yeah, th this map was like, it was in the game, but nothing linked to it. And he's just like, hey, tell me, tell me what you think of this place. And I'm like, oh god. Oh god, I hate it. Why is it so big? Why is it so pointless? And uh, that was before it introduced its main gimmick of uh, warping into another map. But uh, we'll show that later. What is this level? Ah, uh, this is Fly Guys Hill. So, should be two stars here. One of them's a red coin hunt. I uh, guess I'll do that also. It's probably not going to be the most interesting. I love these little micro Fly Guys. Every time I hear this music, it's just hilarious to me. It, it's very boisterous. But yeah, level's uh, pretty straightforward. It's not really a whole lot to say about this one, really. it's There's a lot of levels in this game that are kind of dime a dozen, like... You know, they, they feel like something that could have existed in a beta where there was meant to be, like, you know, a hundred different levels instead of just 15 big ones with multiple objectives. Like, I can see this being in a game like that. But, uh... Yeah, as its own thing, it's kind of like... It's fine. <laughs> um, how am I still missing five coins? I do like how the Goombas have these messed up eyes that, like, change positions now. That was actually a pretty late addition, I think. Unless I'm, uh, unobservant and it was there for a long time and I just never knew. Which is very possible. I like how I accidentally paused. Anyway, that's the more obvious of the two stars here. Um, this was a painting. I can grab it and come back in. When I get to the point where I show where all the green stars are, I'll probably just cheat in a bunch, but there's a small chance I might hit 120 stars naturally in this. Very small chance. Problem, of course, being the levels that uh, don't have panting entrances, don't have a quick way to re-enter them, so I'll not want to collect all our stars on camera. Anyway, there's this building here with this random, like, imposing black hole back here, and, uh... The wing cap does not have a, uh, an immediately obvious use in this level, but there is one. So there's this lighthouse here. Um, I don't know why there's a lighthouse in... I guess it's just more of a tower, but, yeah. You can fly to the top of it, but uh, that's not what you need to do. You actually just need to go through the purple window. And uh, lo and behold, there's the other one. I, uh... Any of the levels like that, like, the brand new levels like this, I have a really hard time remembering where in the game they're actually connected because I swear this place got changed like 80 times. Like, I, I, like as soon as I tested this place once and kind of got a feel for it, I just wanted nothing to do with it. <laughs> and any time that I uh, wanted to check the new levels after that point, I just warped to them directly using the Star Tracker. But uh, there should be like a big hallway somewhere with a bunch of doors that lead to levels. I just need to figure out where the hell it is. I'm, like, I'm stuck in this corner of the map that, uh, there's obviously a door somewhere that'll lead out of here, but, uh, having a hell of a time figuring out which one it is. I'm sure I've already come from this direction before, but... We'll give it a shot. There's a few places that I should at least kind of recognize once I reach them, and I can kind of make it back to familiar ground from there. 
Is this the... Mm. No, this isn't the one I was thinking of. Let's keep going. Didn't I, like, just come from here? Ah, here's the big room. Okay. I should know how this connects to stuff. Vaguely. I know that if you, uh, don't take this corner sharply enough, you'll regret it. Here's me taking the corner sharply. I didn't regret it. Here's me not doing it. Oh, shit. So yeah, there's like five points in this map that just warp you to this, you know, corrupted, spooky version of it, and uh, it kind of sucks getting out of it, because there's... oh my god. There are warps that uh, send you back, but this place is, uh, by design, meant to be really hard to navigate, so... And actually, no, there was one there that worked out well enough. Okay, um, this should be taking me... is this a real painting? No. Um, it should take me back to the bro's house area, I think. God, no, I don't actually know if it is. Yeah, it is, okay. I recognize this because it has a very weird painting here of the tox boxes, and don't go near it, because that'll happen. Yep, we made it back. Okay. So there's a level up here. I guess I'll look at this one since I'm in the area. This is Big Blue Skylands. The fucking exploding sign. I love that thing. I think it's three stars here. Um, there's red coins, which... As we can see here, they're uh, a little bit scattered. There's a star just up on that tower. I guess I could try to do reds. I wasn't going to, because reds are usually a little boring. Um, there's like freaking 80 red coin stars in this game. All the times that I've had to play through this to check star IDs and stuff, and just verify that everything works correctly, these red coin missions have been the bane of my existence, just because Every level, inevitably, there's like one or two that I just can't find. And I'll run around the level for half an hour looking for them, and, uh... I don't even know why it happens, because most of the time they're not that obscure. Um. But, uh... I've definitely gotten in the habit of just looking at, looking at the editor to see where they're located, because, uh... I can't be bothered to try and find them fresh every time. I wonder if it is just these three. Red coins, there's the one on top of the tower. There's, uh, the one on top of the big house. That might be it. Let's see. I think this is where I entered. I just need to get to a wing cap. There's the last coin down there. I had, uh, basically zero involvement with this place, so I don't have a whole lot to say about it. It's, you know, basically just kind of a mix of Wing Mario over the rainbow and some parts of Rainbow Ride and, I guess, the tower of the wing cap. I never really thought about it, but yeah, it's a nice blend of the three areas. And, uh, oh, that one doesn't boot you out. Alright. Sure, I'll grab the one up here, then. Or up here. Yeah. You'd be all like... Pfft. And now i got to make my way back to 4B again, so... Let's actually take a, uh... Different route to get there. I said there was an entrance from Parallel Lobby, so let me go do that one. 
Which of course means going through 75 doors first so I can actually get there. I don't know what the fastest way to get to Parallel Lobby is, but uh, this is the one I take. Oh, while I'm here, let me actually grab this Toad Star. Um, if you may recall from my playthrough of the last version of this, I uh, had a bit of a like issue with this window because I found the wing cap and I'm like, oh man, you should totally be able to use it to fly through that and it just kind of didn't work, but that's only because I missed the entrance. Um, turns out, wing cap, not necessary. Well, you know, if you do it right. Oh my god, game, please. I have people to show off too. Vanilla Lobby has the uh, nighttime variant map, which uh, I'm sure we'll see later on, but there is a toad up here as well, and uh, up until the very end of the game, or like up until the very end of development, uh, those were actually two different star IDs, but uh, they have not been merged into just one. So they both give you the same star. But yeah, Parallel Lobby is back here. I don't know if any levels back here have been changed. I'm looking at the list that I've got open to the side and none of them are standing out. What is this door? I don't think this is where I want to go. No, that's not where I want to go. Er, no, there is one that's here that I need to take at one I, I should check at some point. There. This has nothing to do with anything, but I'm going to look at this level anyway. Because there's a couple weird things here to point out. Um, so this is just, this one's just called The City. Um, I think it has four stars. It used to have five, but there was a red coin star that got removed. Um... Very weird looking Vanish Cat block. I don't actually know how that one works. Let me see if this uh, does what I was told that it did. There's a star behind this grating, which I'll probably grab in a second, but uh, before I do that, let's go through this one. Yeah. Yeah, it just kind of takes you to Lavish Lava Mountain for some reason. Lavish that um which is incredibly random and i have a feeling it was meant to be a different map but the wrong id was put in the problem is i don't actually know what map it was supposed to be i could look at like similar ids in the uh editor or something and see if any of them make sense but uh i don't know it's kind of weird also screw that star i don't need it um, the stars in this level are really bizarre, other than that one. You know, that one makes perfect sense. Um, again, come on. Also, I hate how I now mentally associate this level with, like, obscure Sonic characters, because I think when I was testing this in, like, 0 0.9, I had background noise on that was, like... I forget what the name of the channel was, it was just something that was going over the history of, like, you know, being the dynamite and shit like that. Is this building floating? I never noticed that before. Um, so there's a star here. I have no idea why. <laughs> uh, and then... If we go up to the top of the level here, you've always got the obligatory get to the highest point in the level star, so you know, this one's no exception. We'll get a little bit of seasickness from the camera, of course. <laughs> okay. 
So you couldn't see what happened there, but there was a bob on here that I just ground-pounded and he just spawned a star. Uh, really high up for some reason? What the fuck? I don't think it's supposed to do that normally. And then there's one from just touching this crystal switch. I, I don't... I don't get this place. Um... I, I would also, like... You know, this would be a point where I could talk about some specifics of how the various, like, non-standard stars in the game work. Um... I think there was something weird with one of these. Let me grab this one. And then I want to see if that star always spawns that high up in the air, or if that was, like, a consequence of me ground-pounding the thing. Um, and I will double-check some stuff in the editor and actually know what I'm talking about for a minute. Alright, I have checked the things. Uh, first of all, this one just, uh, does that now. I have a feeling this is a level-scaling thing. Um, I don't remember always doing that. Uh, as for how these stars work, the one that's in the crystal switch, um, here, I should be able to show the editor here, um, you can't see, like, the names of the objects or anything, but the one that's in the crystal switch, um, basically just touching it, there's also, like, a secret here, like the ones in the fire fortress level from earlier, just, like, the little sparkly thing, um, and that just spawns this star. This one is special. Um, there's a few like this one in the game, and, uh, they always have a particular problem with them. Uh, this is an object called Top Star Spawn Behoove Killed. Um, I don't know what the top is, and it's in all caps, that's why I always shout it. Uh, so Top Star Spawn BHV, which stands for Behavior Killed. Um, and these are really weird. Um, because... With regular stars, you just put the star ID in slot 1, and then that's basically it. Um, like, B param 1. I, I explained that in the last video. In this one, you do the same thing, but the object specifically is... It's set up in such a way where it's like, if every enemy of a certain type in the level are killed, then the star will spawn. And the way that it knows what enemy that is is like, so this enemy uh, has a certain behavior address, which is, like, every ad every object in the game does. The behavior address is just, you know, it points to something in the coding that tells it how to behave. Um, it is eight digits long in, in hex, and uh, this thing needs to have its B param three and four set to the, um, like, decimal equivalence of the last four digits of hex in this thing's address. So, like, this thing, uh, ends with 7B74, uh, which in decimal translates to 123 and 116. And so that's what set it's, is it's two other, like, B params here. Um... And the reason I'm pointing this out is because, um, if you remember everything from the last video, uh, you may remember that, uh, for stars that go beyond number 255, uh, they had to have the B param 3 set to 1 so that it would use the higher list. Because this one is a star that has a number in B param 3, it's basically treating that as a 1 anyway even though it's a different number, and so there's no way to have this star be one of the lower ones on the list. Does that make any sense? Like, um, let me actually pull this up in the spreadsheet real quick. I think we can get visuals on this one. Yeah. So, in this case, it ended up not mattering because I set all of the star IDs to be in the X list anyway. But, yeah, like, this one couldn't be a vanilla star. It had to be an extended one. Um, and so, in levels that are like that, you'll see that uh, 
that just kind of happens. Every once in a while, there'll be a star that kind of breaks the pattern, and that's often the reason why. Uh, as for the one with the books, I actually don't remember how that one works. Let me just look at it real quick. Uh, I have no fucking idea what this thing is. The object doesn't have a name. It's just a bunch of numbers, and it just has the star ID attached to it. So your guess is as good as mine. Anyway, back to the game. I think the drowning Goomba in uh, Dire Bubble works the same way. It's just some custom object that just has the star ID listed in its B params, and it just kind of works. That is uh, that is information that somebody who knows more about how the game's coding works beyond just placing objects uh, would have to answer. I'm going to pop into here real quick because I just want to show. Uh, this is Steep Green Summit. That is clouds. Um, I showed this off in one of the announcement videos, how there's a star up there. If we uh, if we take a look at it, I mean, you pretty much saw it anyway, but yeah, it's a star behind a cage. There's a pipe that leads in there. Uh, you might expect that the pipe that uh, leads to that one is somewhere else in this level, and uh, you would be incorrect. And you have me to thank for that one. Um, sort of. There's a bit of a story to this one, actually. So, this was one of the last three stars added to the game. Um, as I kind of as I explained in that announcement video, there was like we got rid of the MIP stars. There was one dupe that got made into a unique, and so we had three new stars that we had to put in. And I was just kind of looking around, and I noticed that this level had that fence, but it didn't have anything like in it. And so I thought that would be, like, we can do something with this. And my idea was basically, like, what if we make this, like, a Banjo-Tooie objective, where it's kind of like, in, in that game, there's, like, you know, you go through the stomping plains and pterodactyl land, and it leads to a Jiggy and Hailfire Peaks, even though there's, like, no connection otherwise. And I'm like, that would be kind of cool to do something like that. Um... Also, I placed that star magnet. I don't think I've explained star magnets yet. We'll get to that at some point. But, uh... I don't think we're getting back to floor 4B today. Let me, uh... Continue with, uh... The Steep Green Summit conversation. Because, uh... Like I said, I just... I, I thought that it would be cool to just have, like, this... Random instance of level interconnectivity. Um... It's weird that the, it's, like, the only one in the game that's like that, but I still think it was neat. So I'm going to the level that it, uh, is reached from. Takes a while to get there. Again, there's probably some faster way to get here, but hell if I know what it is. I tend to have, like, one one or two ways that I know how to get to a map that uh, are just kind of the ones I get used to. So this is Painting Museum. Um, before we actually look at the level that I was talking about, let's take a good look at this room and how uh, not fucked up it is. And see if we can change that. I actually don't know if this is going to work. This worked the last time I tested this. do it. Yep, there we are. Okay, cool. I have absolutely no idea what the hell causes this. Um, whoops, didn't mean to go through the door. Shit. I want to mess it up again. Come on. Um, there might be other maps like this where a polygon just kind of decides it has somewhere else it wants to be. Like, look at that. You can actually see the moment where it uh, decides that it wants to fuck up. Because now it's fine. It's only when I open the door. Yeah, what the hell? Okay, this warrants further testing. Hold on. 
me reload the room again. Is it just this door? Or is it specifically when you load from that map? What if I just go in here and come back out? It is that door. Man, what the hell? Okay, so that door apparently just, you know, controls reality somehow. This was not intended. <laughs> I, I hate to be the bearer of bad news because this is fic like this is freaking great. And it fits in with the vibe of the hack perfectly. But this wasn't intended. I don't know why it does this. <laughs> I'm glad it does, though. Um... Anyway, here's another level. Uh, this one is just called Tall Mountain. It, uh, I like how I just ran into that mole for no reason. I think this replaced Hazardous Highway. I want to say that's what it was called. And um, I don't remember if this level has two or three stars. Well, it's not going to have any if I freaking die because that's how that works, right? If I die, then all the levels in the star disappear. I'll actually grab a star just to fix my health situation here. It's a tall, tall mountain variant, so you better know there's going to be a get to the top of the level star. I mean, that's just every level in this game, really, but... What's more surprising is that there isn't an Act 1 star here. Or actually... Never mind, I think there is. Let me look. <laughs> For a second, I couldn't remember, but no, I think there is actually one here. Um, let me see. Does fly guy come out of the wall? No? Usually there's a fly, a fly guy that just pops out of the wall there. Uh, well, I don't know where that one popped out from, but... Anyway... Here's an Act 1 star. I know you can't tell from looking, but that's what it is. Does this level have more than two stars? I'm going to check really quick. Yes, it also has red coins, which I didn't see somehow. I think they're all sequestered to one section of the level, like in the original TTM. Come on, random flight. There he is. <laughs> I never really looked at the map for that one. I, I'm guessing it's just placed inside the level geometry and it just pops out of it. I, uh, I'm guessing that was not intended, but it's there and I like it, so... Oh well. Yeah! Oh, this is a climbable wall. I didn't even realize that. Also, there's some serious polygon excellence going on with this wall, too. Alright, so. Three stars in this place. Let's grab this one. But, uh, this is the level that has the pipe that leads to the other star, so let me go find that. There's a bit of a story to this one. Um... So, as with most other levels, uh, this one was just added in by Chris one day. He's like, uh, you know, go check out map 12-8 or whatever it is. I don't know what this one is. I'm not going to look it up. And I'll play it, you know, make sure everything works. With this one in particular, um, you know, I, I looked around. I, I didn't want to look at it in the editor. I figured I'd play it normally and, you know, just kind of find all the stars. Oh my god find all the stars myself. Um, and after I did that, then I looked it in the editor, and I noticed that there was an obscure little thing that I missed. Also, I like how... Where the hell is the thing I'm looking for? Um, there was a pipe in, like, an awkward little nook tucked away somewhere. And... I checked it, and it just didn't do anything. And I'm like, okay, what's this? Why is there a pipe here? And uh, Chris just said, I don't know what I want that to do yet. And 
my initial recommendation was, uh, I'm just like, I don't know, just have it lead to one of the other Tall Tall Mountain style levels. And he's like, that is probably what I was thinking, because that is an extremely B33 thing to do. Um, because ga this game just does that shit constantly. Um, here we go. Where it's like, you're in a snow level, here's a pipe, hey, here's another snow level, which you could have reached a different way, but they're connected for some reason. Um, and it was gonna just be that. But then he's like, nah, we don't really need this, and he decided to take it out. Um, and then, again, like... The day that the original version of the game was released, and then we decided to fix the MIPS issue, um, this, I think this was literally the last star added, um, was the one in the other level, and I'm like, can you put that pipe back that you decided to get rid of and just have it lead to this? And so he did, and, uh, here we go. I realized that, uh, you know, me pointing to any star that I had any hand in and then saying, like, this is the best star in the game comes off a little bit self-centered, but uh, I do like that one quite a bit. Uh, I want to take a look at this. So I'm actually curious what this is going to do now. All right, well, we have our answer. I'm not worthy. Um, now, the uh, the trigger for that thing to work is you have to have 33 stars. I was I, I actually had no idea what that was going to do, because I have 31 in-game, but I have 34 in the tracker. So let's grab a few more. And then we can check that out and then be done with the video. I'll come back to 4B in another video. Ugh, that's with the sour note. So this is Jolly Roger Docks. Um, as the name indicates, it is basically a blend of the two water levels from the vanilla game. I kind of like this one. It, uh... It does what it set out to do. It does it fairly well, I think. Let's see if we can get some light speed swimming here. I'm gonna mash the hell out of this A button. I don't exactly remember where all the reds are in this place, but... I don't want to stop. You can't stop my hyperspeed swimming. It's not that hyperspeed yet, but it'll get there eventually. In this, I couldn't tell. I don't want to crash into a clam. It would be lame. <laughs> okay, yeah, there is one there. <laughs> I find this endlessly amusing, what can I say? Do I have enough time to loop back to it? Yeah. Nope, not quite. Okay, I should probably stop doing this, but I'm having too much fun. Open up, and loop around. Mario, loop faster. Eh, okay, fine, I'll stop. I had, uh, I had the smallest of input with this level. And you better believe I'm gonna milk it. Be like, look at this, I placed a single thing. Um, my input with this level was, um... The placement of a single red coin. <laughs> Why did I have to place a single red coin, you may ask? Um, the reason is stupid, but let me get these other ones first. Because there's just kind of one in each corner. There's you know, the two in the clams, the one at the beginning. The eighth one's a little bit special. And it's not because of where it is now, because where it is now is pretty normal. Um... this. Okay, so yeah, the last coin is uh, just up there. You wait until the ship rises, and then you can just kind of jump up to it. That's the one that I placed. Um, the reason I did that 
is because originally the last red coin was, uh, it was rough. Oh, it was, uh, it was roughly like where I'm facing now, just inside the ship, just in the middle of the water. But like, you know, you can't reach it because the fucking ship's in the way. I don't know how it ended up that way. Like, it, obviously that wasn't intended. Maybe it was supposed to be on, like, a box or something, and... I, I don't know. But that's where it was. Um. Oh, what the hell? Uh. Okay, hold on. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, that was interesting. We learn new things every day. I get what happened there. It's because this is reusing the ship model from a level that does have an entrance like that. Um. Yeah, that was, uh, weird. Does this still have the problem where if you try to, if you, like, get near this star, it... Nah. Which of these was the red coin star, anyway? I already don't remember. I'm just gonna grab this one and hope that this was the red coin one. They pop back in and check. Because I'm gonna reload if it wasn't. But yeah, I, I actually forgot about that until just now, but there was uh, there was a problem with this level originally where sometimes trying to collect the star on top of the ship would just cause the game to, like, do one of those little, you know, fade to black warps. Uh, I don't know if that got fixed or if it just got relocated. Um, that was the wrong star. Oh, and this one doesn't boot you from the level. Uh, okay, that is because there's two different red coin star objects in the game. There's a normal one, and then there's one that's called, like, Bowser's Red Coins. Um, because in the vanilla game, in Bowser levels, when you collect one of those, it doesn't boot you out of the level. You can keep going to, like, go fight Bowser or whatever. Um... They're kind of just used willy-nilly in this hack. Um, I proposed at one point that we go through and change all of them to the Bowser ones, just, you know, to kind of streamline gameplay a little bit. Uh, this wasn't done because... Partially just out of laziness, but also because... Um, there's, like, a different property that those stars have that is going to come up when we eventually look at... Uh, randomized realm. I'll explain it when we get to that point. Um, we're gonna ignore this room for right now. I'll come back to it. Ooh, is this... Hold on, I gotta, I gotta check. Is, is this the, uh... Is this the object that I think it is? I'm just gonna pull this up in the editor real quick. Uh, Jolly Roger Ducks... Yeah, uh, that object internally is referred to as Pillar That Makes Pyro Sad. I don't know who Pyro is. Presumably somebody who, you know, helped work on the game. I don't really know the team. But that's what that, I that's what that object is called internally. It's probably... It's definitely in the top three of my favorite item names or object names. Um, the other two are in a level that we haven't seen yet, and I'll point them out when we get there. Most of the stuff is named normally. There's a few that are like, you know, Toad is called Todd in some cases. There's stuff like, uh, Crushma. Um, stuff like that, but, uh, that one always stood out to me, plus the other two. Oh. 
It was pointed out to me that, uh, well, not to me directly, but uh, that it was kind of, the way that you're supposed to get the star is a little pointless because you could just spin jump over here and not bother with the switch and the crates, but I felt like trying to do it the intended way. So, one more star in there. Let me just clear this place out real quick. Don't know if I have any other random trivia about this place. Although there was a point where it had no water. But, I mean, that is uh, true of many levels. Although I think this one might have actually had no water in the day one release. I didn't really play the day one release. But I think I remember hearing people say that, and that the level is still beatable without the water, but, like, it sucks ass. Um, so this is actually a pretty interesting star. There's this diagram on the wall here with these, uh, five little marks. And, uh... Basically, they just tell you where various secrets are hidden. It's, uh, symmetrical. Got these two little rock spire things, these two corners, and then the last one is in the middle, which is the top of the submarine, I think. Yep. One of the more unique stars. I wish I could take credit for that one, but that one wasn't me. I like stars that, uh, you know, are more than just go to a place and find a thing. Anything like that that has a little bit extra to it is cool. Alright, um, let us go back to Painting Museum again. There is, once again, probably a faster way there. There's, like, frickin' four different doors leading into it. I just, you know, one of them was Clockway Internals. I think one of them is, like, Pink Castle. One of them is Strawberry Lobby, which is a dead end. I th Actually, no, I don't know if it is. I don't remember the fourth. I'm gonna randomly guess, like, Internal Garden or something. I don't know. That whole section of the castle confuses me. I don't remember how everything connects. Um, but I have my tried and true method of getting there, so that is good enough for me. First, we, uh, you know, we can't have this. We gotta fuck the room up a little bit. Let me see if it's just... Okay, approaching the door is enough to do it. You don't even have to open the door. You just have to go over here. That is fantastic. <laughs> I have no clue why it does that. Okay, so in 0 0.9, this thing always said you are not worthy. It never led to anything. Uh, that is no longer the case. If you have 33 stars, this should take you somewhere. So I think this place is just called Roof. Um, it might have gotten renamed to something else, but that's what it's called internally. Uh, I believe this is a reference to Dream 64, which is a uh, another ROM hack that's kind of similar to B33. I haven't played it. I should probably check it out. This rainbow texture looks like it... Uh, Maybe it could have been adjusted a little bit, but no. Well. Best music. What does this lead to again? Oh, of course, Polygonal Chaos. My favorite. Oh. 
just this, you know, the the castle music being played on like someone aggressively banging a metal pipe is something to be beheld. I think this map is just called D64 Castle. Once again, I don't know if it ever got a different name. Um, so, there's a couple ways to get the star here. Um, I could have just gone back through that last door and uh, used Vanish Cap to sink through the grate. Or you can do this. And uh, that is a red star. So that's actually all three of the non-boss reds. There was that one, there was the Womp's Fortress, like, dark one, and there was the Toad Catacombs one. I think that's going to be it for now. Um, we've had an hour and a half. I showed off a bunch of crap, so... Still got plenty of other stuff to show. Um, you know, just going to go through the list of new levels and... One by one, hit them all up and just share any trivia that I have about them. Um, I did get a lot of comments on the last one. I appreciate all the views. Uh, I, you know, I don't remember any comments specifically asking for stuff other than, like, the Star Tracker and stuff, which should now be resolved. But, uh, you know, if you can think of anything else that I uh, haven't answered and you don't think I'm going to get to it, then let me know and I'll uh, try to keep a list and address it next time. Uh, until then, bees quick little add-on here. Um, towards the end of the video, I mentioned how uh, the day one release had a version of Jolly Roger Docks with no water. Uh, that was actually incorrect. It was uh, it's Jolly Roger Coastline that had no water. And here it is, for your viewing pleasure. Uh, this is the day one build. This one was actually made public. Apparently, people found a way to get through this. Um, I... I'm very curious how. You could probably try to do some bullshit with this, but it seems really bad. Um, not so sure about that one. Let's see, there's like... Is there a way that you can get up there, maybe? Mm. Hmm. Is this just gay baby jail? I didn't know about that one. Maybe this is how they got out. Anyway, um... So, yeah, I don't know. This level is, uh, looking pretty undoable, but, uh, maybe somebody with a little more patience than me could figure out how. Uh, before we're done here, let's look at Moto's factory with a random water cube in it. Uh, I'm gonna pull up my... December 31st build and uh, see if it's in that one. This should be the oldest one that I have. Apparently incompatible with the other save files. And I don't want to actually go all the way there, so we'll just do a warp to course to area 8. Hopefully not die immediately on entry. I still kind of hate the uh, weird little gauntlet at the start of this level. Alright, random water cube. There we go, yeah, okay. <laughs> it, uh, it doesn't extend to the whole level, but it's here. I had a fun time with this one, because uh, I just kind of found this, like, this was before I was even really working on the hack. I was just kind of sent this build of it and uh, encouraged to kind of look at it in the editor and try to figure out stuff about it before we eventually got into a call and he would show me how to do stuff. And so I'm like, oh, and, and I, I tested this level and found that and I'm like, oh, boy. So <laughs> when we were in a call, I showed this off. I'm like, by the way, uh, Something a little fucky with Moto's factory. And Chris is like, oh god. Oh fuck, what happened to it? Because apparently there's a whole you know, there's a whole bunch of custom objects in this place, and he was really worried that just something broke. And I, I go in here 
And I'm like, surprise, swimming. And he's like, oh, okay, that's normal. <laughs> what do you mean that's normal? He's like, yeah, yeah, sometimes levels just generate water. It's, it's fine, I'll fix that. So, I thought that was pretty funny. I can't believe I happened to be standing in the same spot for that. Anyway, I ended. <laughs>